eliminate distractions. You need to get rid of the things that are distracting you from what you really need to pay attention to. This takes control. How much television do you watch? If it's more than an hour a day, that's too much. Now, I know that sounds hard because there's so many good shows, but you need to find some control here. And if you are going to watch television, combine it with another activity like exercise. Get on the treadmill and watch some television. Or if you're stuck on a car trip and you're not the driver, watch some TV then or an airplane flight. Take your television time for when there's nothing else you can really be doing. If you're finding yourself going out to bars or nightclubs a lot, cut back. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't socialize, but these types of environments are going to pull you away and really take your time. Email is one that people just get sucked into. For my email, I actually don't have it set to auto-download. I need to click on the email button for it to download. That way, I can work uninterrupted, and after a while, when I feel like I should check, I'll go ahead and pull down email. That doesn't mean that I don't have a Slack channel open for the office to reach out to me from time to time so that I can be reached quickly, but that's really limited to people that I have a relationship with, and if you don't have coworkers, you don't need that. Sure, you do need to check the email from time to time to get back to clients, but you don't need to have a constant stream because it's just a distraction. And social media is even worse. There's nothing wrong with Facebook. I use it all the time. But you will find yourself watching content that you don't need. Looking through an Instagram feed for inspiration, and two hours later, you've done nothing. Instead, try to limit yourself. Set a timer when you do this. Go ahead and trigger a 10-minute timer on your smartphone, and then when the alarm goes off, force yourself to switch back.